Hi, this is James Cook of the University of Maine at Augusta, and today I'm going to update some earlier videos that I'd shot describing how to use the package Reddit Extractor in the uh, research software program R uh, in order to obtain data from the social media platform Reddit uh, and to uh, turn it into the form of data sets that, that can therefore be used in uh, all kinds of analysis. To do this, uh, it's, it's a really a rather simple process, um, although that's recently changed for Reddit Extractor because um, the folks who have written the package Reddit Extractor uh, have uh, rewritten it. Um, and I'm not one of those writers, by the way, I'm just someone who uses it. So the first thing you'll want to do is that you'll want to um, start up your R uh, program, and I suggest that you use a shell called R Studio. So first download uh, R at r-project.org, and then um, go to uh, the, uh, the internet and search for download R Studio desktop, which is free. They'll try to sell you something, but you don't need to pay anything for it. Uh, and then you install R and then install R Studio. Uh, why? Because uh, R Studio uh, has a number of uh, user friendly features, one of which is that no matter what kind of computer you're on, it always looks the same, which is great for teaching about R. So um, then you'll want to install a package. And you simply select tools and then install packages, and you would type in Reddit Extractor. And you notice, uh, I notice as uh, I do so, that Reddit Extractor appears as an option. I've already installed it, um, but I would click install, and I would also click install dependencies. Dependencies are uh, other packages that Reddit Extractor relies upon in order to run. So you, you certainly want to do that. And then you need to activate the. Uh, 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 Reddit extractor package, and you do so with the library command in R. So the command is library, and then we'll put in uh, parentheses, because parentheses are always the options. So if the general command to activate um, a package is library, the option, which package we want to activate, well, it's Reddit extractor. So that's the first line. Uh, what could be simpler? Uh, and then we're going to want to um, do two rounds of data collection in order to get two kinds of information. And um, just for fun today, uh, I thought it would be uh, interesting to look at a sports subreddit, which is um, uh, the subreddit Tar Heels, all one word for the North Carolina Tar Heels. Um, and, and so in order to do that, um, we're going to having installed the Reddit extractor package, use a Reddit extractor command in order to get some uh, data and put it into an object that sits in R. The object we're going to call tar heels, and then uh, I'm going to add the uh, uh, modifier threads, because wh what this first command will do is um, excuse me, is going to uh, uh, get the list of the URLs, the web addresses, for uh, the most recent posts to this uh, uh, subreddit, this discussion board. Um, in order to do that, um, okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm using the arrow that's pointing to the left to indicate that what's on the right-hand side is what's going to get shoved into the object that I'm defining on the left, which is Tar Heels Threads. And what's going to be shoved in there? Well, um, we're going to use the uh, command find thread URLs. Notice the underscores there. And then, just as with every command, there's going to be parentheses for options. Um, the first option is that you have to say what subreddit you want to grow it from. So you is, type in the option subreddit equals and then put in quotes. And in this case, we're going to want to grab information from the Tar Heels subreddit. Um, and then what, what is the uh, way that we want results to be shorted, uh, sorted? I'd like them to be sorted from um, new to old. So um, sort by is the next option. Or notice the options are separated by commas. Uh, and the option here is new, uh, also in quotes. And then there's one more option, and this one is important. 
Uh, how long do you want to search back? Um, now, Reddit is going to stop you about two or three weeks, depending on how full a forum is. It'll only let you go back that far in time to begin with. But you could um, describe how far you want to go back uh, in a variety of periods. Now, today, I'm going to use period equals day because I don't want to spend a lot of time in this video uh, uh, grabbing the data and just waiting with you here. But you could also have period equal uh, hour, week, month, or all, which means just give me as much as you can. But again, I'm going to use period day. Now, I'm going to run this uh, uh, code, going down to run region, and then select run all. And you're going to see it doesn't take very much time. You need an internet connection, of course, in order to do this because you're grabbing the information off the internet. It won't work otherwise. Uh, and here we are. It's going through a series of pages of data. And it, it, it just reports down in the console window that it's parsing the URLs. It's turning the information into data. And then you notice there's a stop. Uh, sign that just turned off. Uh, you wait until the stop sign turns off because while the stop sign is going, uh, that means that it, it's still thinking and working through the process. Uh, and you could hit the stop sign if you were like, oh, this is taking too long, I want to cancel. But here we are, I see Tar Heels Threads has appeared in my environment. Let's take a look and see what happens. I'm going to just click once and it appears over here um, very handily uh, 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 over on the uh, upper left hand side and it is in the form of a data set um, and so it has certain characteristics uh, it has a date it has a timestamp a title text <laughs> there's some language here uh, go to hell duke it's their rival uh, it's telling you again what the subreddit is it tells you how many comments are and now this is a really important piece here um, we've got a variable that's called URL, which is the web address for this post. Um, why is that important? Because, well, take a look, there's comments here. We might want to get access to those comments. We might want to do more than just look at the main text of the first post. We might want to look at the comments underneath. So we would like to have a command that would access that URL and um, would uh, allow us to, for each URL, grab the information about all the comments underneath. Okay, and the way to do that in R is to refer to a data set, this object, tar heels threads, and then to refer to a column in it, you use a dollar sign. Uh, so we would call it tar heels threads dollar sign URL. That's what we want to get to. So we're going to need to write one more command in order to make that happen. Um, okay, and so we're going to call this tar heels. We could call it many things, anything we wanted. We could call it sausages. We could call it Bruno. But I'm going to call it tar heels comments. And again, I'm putting an arrow in saying we're going to shove something into it. What are we going to shove in? The result of another command, which is get thread content which is to work with uh, a list of URLs, okay, which we're going to point it to in the options that are going to go inside these parentheses. And then we, we want it to run the command get thread content to get that stuff and then shove it into this new object called Tar Heels Comments. So um, how are we going to do that? Well, uh, literally, we are going to take Tar Heels Threads and then it's, it's looking after I put that dollar sign in and saying, oh, you're looking for a column. Which one? How about the URL column? Uh, and it's that simple, really. Uh, that's the option. Um, now, I could run, uh, let's make this smaller again so you can see the console working. There we go. I could uh, run the whole uh, script again, but I've already run the first two commands. So this time, I'm going to highlight that line, line four. And I'm going to select under code, run selected lines. Why? So I don't waste your time. And let's see what happens. Now you notice there's that stop sign. It means R is busy. Let it sit. It's going to think about it for a while. Um, this is going to take 
a little bit of time. Um, why? If we take a look in the upper right, it's because there are 902 observations of seven variables. So what it's literally doing while I'm talking to you and while we sit here and wait, unfortunately, is that it's doing much qu more quickly than a human could. It's going to eat of those URLs and it's loading each of those URLs and then it's looking into the comments and it's grabbing all sorts of variables and shoving them into the form of a classic social science data set. What I'm going to do now is pause for a little bit <laughs> so that you don't get bored and we're just going to sit back and wait and, and, and watch the results come in. It'll be a little bit of time but I'll, I'll come back to you when we're done. Okay, great. Okay, wonderful. So uh, we are at uh, 31 minutes, uh, and, and that is just making a little bit of math. 21 minutes after I initiated the data collection. Uh, it takes a while for the computer to run through this, so you have to be patient. I noticed that in the console window here that there are no uh, <laughs> glaring uh, errors being reported. Uh, they would be reported in red, so I'm happy about that. And now you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, which is all where all these objects and variables and data sets are, um, that I've uh, uh, created in the script, along with some others, uh, there is now Tar Heels comments. So let's double-click on that. Um, it says it has two elements, which is going to be interesting, right? So when I double click on it, it, I don't see a data set right away. What I see are, uh, is that there's kind of a, like an indented list and there are these two things, one's called threads and the other's called comments. So whenever you have a subunit, whether it's a column or something else, you can refer to the subunit as, uh, uh, with, with that dollar sign as, as a modifier. So, um, you notice when I double click on these things, right, in, in RStudio to get them, it gives me a command in console, and the command is view. So I'm going to want to view these things, and I'm going to want to view the elements one by one. Tar heels, comments, uh, and then dollar sign, let's take a look at threads. Oh, there's uh, information. Now this is, is pretty repetitive. Let's. Um, give this some room to look at it and we have pretty much the same variables that we had before uh, right so it's just a repetition of the threads except it has a little bit more information like about upvotes downvotes and things like that um, which is that's good to know um, so uh, that's great and then I, I, I want to look at that other subunit which is called comments okay so I'm gonna type in uh, in the console I have to click on the console to type in it view uh, Tar Heels comments uh, and then I want to look at the sub element comments ah and now we have something subtly but importantly different instead of the title of the main text we have the text of the comment and that's important. Um, and, you know, there's lots of references to Duke. Uh, apparently, the Tar Heels define themselves in opposition to Duke, which is a little bit of a sociological thing. But um, looking here, we've got all kinds of variables here. Um, the score with upvotes and downvotes uh, of uh, the different um, uh, 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 comments that are related to the posts. Um, it's giving us the URL to the comments for the post so we can associate it with those main posts, which is helpful. And then uh, there's this interesting variable, which I'll talk about another day, which is comment ID, which is describing what's going on here within a particular thread. So for the first post, there's a comment, the first comment, the second comment, the third comment. And that's simple. Then for the second post, there's just the first comment, right? This is the 
uh, uh, row four. But then, interestingly, right, uh, sometimes, uh, then if we look at the column below, there's this one one. What does that refer to? Uh, it refers to the first response to the first comment, right? And then there's the second comment, the third comment, the fourth comment. Then we move on to the next post where there's the first comment and then one one um, right here. The first response to the first comment, then the second comment, then the first response to the second comment, right? Um, so we have some in information here about who's responding to whom. Who? Oh, the authors of the comments. That's who. Um, so we could do lots of things to analyze the comment uh, uh, text, right? We could do things to analyze uh, popularity through upvotes and downvotes and things like that. We could study trends over time with the date and timestamp. Um, but we could also begin to look at the relationships between the commenters. Who's responding to who? Um, and, you know, how? But now you have uh, uh, this information which should help you uh, fully extract Reddit information with the new version of Reddit Extractor. Uh, as that really simple uh, uh, script uh, allows you, you to do, to grab lots of information, it, it's only three lines. Uh, what could be simpler? Well, a few things, but not much simpler than that. So go to it and see what you can find in your Reddit uh, social media extraction with the R package Reddit Extractor.